right underneath the skin of an individual, everything is basically the same. So when you see a black skin individual versus a white skin or a yellow skin, yeah, those are differences externally, but right underneath the anatomy is exactly the same. I love that. It, it made me feel like there is such a thing as being human. I'm a physical anthropologist by training. My specialty is in the comparative anatomy and evolution of the nose and of the paranasal sinuses in primates, in humans, and even extinct humans. I am here, favorite places in the whole world, the American Museum of Natural History. This is where I feel most at home because I have fond memories of this place. My father took me when I was a young boy here and uh, we visited the Hall of Primates. And it was there that I got interested in knowing about human evolution. These monkeys here represent one of the smallest monkeys in the world. I went to Lehman College and uh, one of the requirements was to take a course in social sciences and I chose anthropology. And uh, this physical anthropology uh, who became my mentor was uh, Dr. James V. Taylor. And he took out a skull and it was a massive skull, massive mandibles, big, big molars, tiny, tiny teeth in the front. And he said that based on the mandible, based on the dentition, we can recreate the diet of this individual. When I heard that, I thought that was magical. That from one skull, you can recreate the diet, the behavior, the time period, and the environment they lived in. And I said, I want to do that for the rest of my life. I was born in the Bronx to Colombian immigrant parents. And I went to Bronx High School of Science and there weren't a lot of uh, Hispanics there. And uh, when I went to the CUNY Graduate Center, there weren't a lot of Hispanics there either in physical anthropology. I was the first Hispanic physical anthropologist from the CUNY Graduate Center that graduated in the last 20 years. When I was coming up the ranks in, at Lehman College, you know, I had a, a perfect uh, 4.0 GPA. And they said, we, we wanna give you an award for having a perfect GPA as an Hispanic. And I, I kind of felt like, wait a minute, was well, there somebody else that has a, a 4.0 in anthropology? And they said, actually, no. So that felt good that, that they recognized that, but only because of my product. Many years ago, uh, when I was an instructor for Gross Anatomy at Icon School of Medicine, the director of anatomy, Dr. Jeffrey T. Leitman, would say to me that I'm serving as an incredible role model for some of the underrepresented students. And when I came over to SUNY Downstate, I finally got what he meant because I had many students confess to me that seeing me, a person of color, behind the podium was an incredibly inspiring moment for them to see that one of their own had made it to the big time. At the end of the day, as a medical educator, I want to give people of color the opportunity to participate in the healthcare force.
because after all, when you have one individual making it, that opens up the doors for so many others to follow.